You would have thought by now Ken Wheeler would have got what the Flat Earth is. In case you're wondering, the Flat Earth is simply demonstrable science that can be tested and verified by every single person on this Earth, the results of which prove the globe is scientifically impossible. That is the Flat Earth. Don't need a map to represent what is. Don't need a model to represent what is. I stand by demonstrable science. Like I say, the results of which can be tested and verified by all, which of course prove the globe is impossible. The maps and models, it's full exploration based off the fact the globe's scientifically impossible. That is the flat earth. So why do characters like Ken Wheeler still, to this day, all these years later, struggle to understand that the flat earth is simply demonstrable science probably because the mainstream media does a such a good job with its misrepresentations but i feel in ken's case there's a bit of a cognitive bias going on here he just can't bear to face that so as a result has to take on board and buy into all the propaganda and the misrepresentations that are the flat earth so let's have a look Certain entities. Here's, oh, I got this nice flat rock here. Here's a perfect example. When did you go after these people? It's flat. It's flat. It's flat rock. <laughs> I didn't realize I had a flat rock on my table. And I said, I don't care what people believe in. Let them believe in whatever they want. Demonstrable science that can be tested and verified by all isn't a belief, Ken. It's reality. Belief is thinking that, that reality is exactly the opposite. That what can be tested and verified by all. The tower cranes are somehow upside down on a spinning, wobbling, oscillating ball in relation to your position. That's worth a chuckle. Not demonstrable science. Your cognitive biases are kicking in. And as a result, you have to paint the flat earth as this silly representation that's been put there by the mainstream media. So you can justify your cannonball delusion, Ken. I said, here's an important point, and this is, as the old saying goes, you know, by their fruit shall you know them. You, you can know what a group or entity is, and there are many entities like this. I'm actually not singling out these people or any others. Is that they are unhappy believing either by themselves or in a group, whether it be large or small. They're not happy until they can suck somebody else into the vortex of this belief you know it's just this black hole or this quicksand that you're going to slip into and just it... again demonstrable science that can be tested and verified by all makes me happy because it empowers me it's very simple for others to understand and take on board and of course demonstrable science means you can't be gaslit by any person on this earth no matter how ignorant how dishonest or how stupid they are not putting you in any of those categories there, Ken. But again, I come back to the simple fact that the flat earth is simply demonstrable science that proves the globe scientifically impossible. No belief. The empowerment comes from standing by simple demonstrable truths, the results of which give you a solid foundation to discern for yourself. That's quite empowering. There's no unhappiness involved here. I'm very happy. This subject does affect people's mental health and you have to tread very carefully. And the way you do that is not take on board any propaganda or misrepresentations or straw mans. You just stand by what is. The results of which prove the globe is impossible, can be tested and verified by all. I mean, you can't be gaslit by any single person on this earth. Just empowers them. It's the exact same way. And it's a belief system too. You know, these... I don't get off on, on highlighting what simply is. It's great when I see other people grasp the simple truth, which shouldn't be difficult, but the way this place has been set up, demonstrable science regarding the shape of the earth, the results of which of course prove the globe is impossible, goes against the grain, the mainstream belief. And as a result, you have to put up with a little bit of gaslighting from ignorant people when you address this thing. 
the quickest way to deal with that, as I keep saying and have done for months, years, is demonstrable science. No one can gaslight you. They even get the same results as you. And when you stand by that, you start to see the lights come on in the ones that can be honest and have a bit of intelligence. The regurgitating mannequins I'm not interested in. Absolutely no interest. But Ken here has his cognitive bias holding him back, making him believe in flat earth beliefs, i.e. misrepresentations, when really by now Ken should know the flat earth is simply demonstrable science, which proves the globe's impossible. The only belief that Ken speaks of is really projections, and that is his globe belief, which of course we all know is scientifically impossible. Large standing bodies of water do not have the ability to display convexity upon its surface. Tower cranes and pendulums can be dead still and plumb whilst doing ludicrous speeds in all different directions. And you can't have an air pressure system residing next to a vacuum without some kind of solid separation. Demonstrable scientific facts that can be tested and verified by all, the results of which prove the globe is impossible. That is the flat earth. Whether you choose to buy into the propaganda or not regarding this subject matter is your fault and your problem. The flat earth is just people having a fresh understanding and a new start by standing by what is. Refusing to be gaslit by ignorant or dishonest people. And it's easy to repel the gaslighters. You actually gaslight them back and make them look fucking ridiculous by highlighting the fact they get the same results as you. Which of course prove the globe's fucking ridiculous. Ken, sort your cognitive biases out fella and every other glober out there. Stop buying into the misrepresentations regarding this subject so you can continue to entertain your delusions. It's fucking ridiculous chaps. Excuse the passionate words that get fired in sometimes. But they're real. They have meaning. And of course, the globe is ridiculous. Stop this. Ken, stop this. Globe believers, stop this. You've seen how silly the space is. You've seen how silly intelligent men like Ken are regarding this subject. The mental barriers, the cognitive biases, the dishonesty that suddenly shows its ugly head. These are all the defence mechanisms of human behaviour put there by a so-called education system and a culture that supposedly we wanted to empower us and have our best interests at heart. It's a fucking joke. It's a charade. Stand by what is and you make a mockery of what isn't.